I have been working in the film industry since more than 30 years and going through different uh, things like uh, special effects, visual effects, uh, prop making. And these last years, I'm really uh, specialized in model making, in miniature set making, mostly for the films of Wes Anderson. I'm Simon Weiss. I'm living in Berlin. I was making miniatures a long time ago and then uh, CGI came and I had to adapt my work on it. But it went through uh, a lot of productions like The Adventures of Burr Munchausen, V for Vendetta, Event Horizon, The Never Ending Story, the city of lost children. And in these last years, as I said, the Wes Anderson films, what he gives to you, it's very interesting. He's, he, his films, they have got always a uh, animated storyboard. It's not a normal storyboard image by image, but the whole film is already animated with movements, voices and, and stuff. A number of years ago, while suffering from a mild case of scribe's fever, a form of neurasthenia common among the intelligentsia of that time, I had decided to spend the month of August in the spa town of Nebelspad, below the Alpine Sudetenfalz, and had taken up rooms in the Grand Budapest, a picturesque, elaborate, and once widely celebrated establishment. I expect some of you will know it. For us, it's a very big help because we exact, we know exactly what he wants on which direction he wants to go. And then from the art department with the production designer, uh, Adam Stockhausen, he has his people who, um, who are drawing certain, our miniatures, props, his big sets, he, he's drawing, drawing a building and all these concepts are helping us very much to build those those miniatures. So when we build the miniatures, we don't have technical drawings. We just have a, a, yeah, a novel drawing uh, by Turlo Griffin or uh, Carl Sprague. All these people who are doing drawings for, for Adam Stockhausen, the production designer. And we make an interpretation of, of those drawings. But in camera, we try to recreate with volumes first, how to build this model. And uh, we are sending this to Wes. He's not interested in how the, the model is built, how the environment of the model is. What he's interested in is the final image as it will perhaps look later in his film. So that, that's a very interesting, but also complicated approach to, to do those miniatures. In Astro City, there's one good example, uh, which is the opening sequence with a train. And it's a train in a very big scale. It's an eighth scale, and we haven't got this here in Europe. It's coming from America, where everything is bigger in America. So <laughs> they are building those huge model trains in eighth scale where the main engine, for example, is two meters long. So we got all the spare parts from America and we had to build this here in my tiny workshop. And um, it's so big, it was so big. And I, I, I thought in the beginning, uh, we can't do this, it's too big for us. And, and they said to me, no, 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 you can do that. <laughs> and uh, so, in the end, we had a, a train which we shot in Spain, uh, where the real film was, was shot, which was 50 meter long. The biggest, it's it's not really a model because it's a one-to-one -one model. It's an, it, on, on the Matrix, the last Matrix, uh, we did a, a, a pod uh, uh, where Keanu Reeves wakes up as Reborn and this was huge. And the other one, real 
big would be the Grand Budapest Hotel because um, I wanted to be quite big so the scale works in I don't know 20 years 30 years ago would we would have done it much smaller but on the Grand Budapest Hotel was an 18th scale and about four meters wide oh quite big <laughs> there's one scene in the French dispatch which is also by Wes Anderson just one Im image from a, a kitchen from the top we worked on this and everybody was expecting a big model, I don't know, on the table, one and a half meter wide, but it was just tiny. I think it was about 30 centimeters by 20 centimeters, but with all these kitchen things inside, because I must admit, we bought some stuff from, from dollhouses, which are in 12th scale. They're quite good. It was so tiny. It was a diff bit difficult for the director of photography because when it, the more it gets tiny, the more difficult it is uh, to film. My my most important uh, contact would be the production designer of the film, followed followed I, I think by the director. And then you have all these people working in the art department. Then sometimes you have to speak to special effects because if there's something physical going on uh, on those models, like a small explosion or other thing, you have to be able to prepare this before you build your, your model so you avoid any issues afterwards. Sometimes... I'm asked to build models and sometimes maybe they are in combination with water, fire or smoke. And I say it they have to be huge because with water, for example, it doesn't work. So maybe we will build a model, but you have to add the water digitally because mm -hmm the the view of the audience has changed and you really need quality i mean you can also have bad cgi but i think the good mix works together one very imp important miniature i didn't work on this but I, I know quite a lot of people were on this is is inception where you have a, a station in i don't know in the arctic or something like that which explodes and all this is a big miniature and it works so good and you could have done this in cgi but they they went for for for, for a miniature explosion and it looked so real and i think the audience didn't make the the difference between a model and and cgi that's for me one of the Good examples, and, and I'm coming back to Blade Runner. Even then, I didn't work on that, but you ha had this whole city which was built in, in in miniatures, even if it was enhanced in CGI. But that that looked just fantastic. You can watch all these older films like Star Wars, Star Trek, and. Uh, I don't know, Indiana Jones and all these films, they use a lot of miniatures. But uh, I guess that the eye of the audience has changed a bit today because of all the CGI, which I, I appreciate a lot. It's a, it's a fantastic technique, but uh, mixing all these old techniques like like mine or ours are uh, in interesting combination with these new techniques miniatures these days it's really an artistic choice uh, because the the directors producers and even visual effects supervisors they want to play with those miniatures so it's more to give a <laughs> Yeah, a certain a certain art in the film. The miniature in it is not really important. It's what it will look like on the big screen. And that's uh, the thing we are working for. And that's 
not not easy so sometimes it doesn't it doesn't look real it looks unreal but that's on purpose i always thought it's um, it's a job which is done which is finished but uh, there's a coming back r right now because even other directors even in, in commercials they are asking for it <laughs>